Got three questions on buffer solutions here you can test yourself with. So the link to the questions is in the description of the video. So just click on that, have a go at the questions and then play the video for the answers. Okay, so first question, students got to make a buffer with a pH of 5.47 from that mixture of ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoate. We've got to calculate the ratio or the relative concentrations of acid to salt that you'd be needed to make the buffer and we've got the Ka for the weak acid. So this is the equation we use to calculate the H plus concentration of a buffer. You'll see this features in all of the questions that we're going to look at in the video. I call it the Cassid over salt equation. If you've seen my teaching video on buffers, you'll be familiar with that uh, that name. It's just so you get the um, acid and salt the right way around in the equation. So the H plus concentration of a buffer equals Ka, the acid dissociation constant, multiplied by the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration. Cassid over salt. Okay, so what we're after is this relative concentration ratio here. So if we isolate that and get the Ka out of the way, so it goes under H plus concentration, we get this expression. And then all we need to do is put in the values for H plus and Ka. So if we've got the pH, the H plus concentration of the buffer is 10 to the minus pH, divided by that Ka value. And that gives an answer of 0 0.1997, effectively 0 0.2. So to get an answer of 0 0.2 when you divide that by that, you basically need that to be five times bigger than that. So any sensible concentration really would be accepted. So I've gone for um, 0 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed acid and one mole per decimeter cubed salt. You see that's five times that. Um, you could go for something like 0 0.1 acid, 0 0.5 salt. That's still going to give you the same um, pH. I don't think I'd go for something like 2 and 10. 10 is a bit concentrated, so I'd avoid that. Question 2 now, a little bit different. We've got an, a known mass of salt being dissolved into a volume and concentration of weak acid, ethanoic acid, and there's the Ka for the acid. Again, it centres around the Cassid over salt equation. This time we're just going to calculate the H plus concentration of the buffer and turn that into a pH. So the first thing I'm doing is working out the moles of each chemical. So for the acid, it's concentration times volume. And for the salt, it's mass over MR. So now we know the moles of each chemical. We can turn them into concentration by dividing by the volume that they're in. I'll explain that in a second. Now, both of these moles are in that stated volume of 0.5 dm cubed. So technically, the concentration of the acid is the moles over the volume they're in and the salt moles over the volume they're in. Now you'll notice they're in the same volume. So technically we don't need to do that because the concentration ratio will be the same as the mole ratio. But because I've got the square brackets there, I've gone for the, um, the sort of full explanation. So H plus concentration of the buffer, Ka times the acid concentration divided by the salt concentration and that gives you that, and we just minus log 5.47. And there's just a reminder there, the acid and salt are in the same volume, so the mole ratio does actually equal the concentration ratio. Okay, so question three now, it's the trickiest one of the three I would say, and it's down to the fact that you've got to differentiate between the moles and concentrations of the components in the buffer to the moles and concentrations of the components from the original solutions. So hopefully that will all make sense as I go through. But basically we're going to use the Cassid over salt equation. We're going to calculate the concentration of the salt. But that's going to be the concentration of the salt in the buffer solution. And then we'll work backwards to get what the original concentration of salt needed to be. Okay, so the first thing we can do is work out, well, how many moles of acid have come from this methanoic acid, concentration times volume, 0.045. When that 200 cm cube goes in, the volume of the buffer is 500 centimeters cubed or 0.5 of a dm cubed. So the concentration of the acid in the buffer, moles divided by that new volume, 0.09 moles per decimeter cubed. 
So to get the concentration of the salt in the buffer, we're going to rearrange acid over salt. So salt up there, H plus down there, and then put the numbers in. 0.0262 moles per decimeter cube. That's what the concentration of the salt needs to be for the buffer. Okay, we know the total volume of the buffer is 500 cm cubed, or half a dm cubed. We know that the concentration of the salt is that. So we can work out how many moles of salt need to be present. Concentration times volume, 0.0131. So they've come from, those moles have come from this 200 cm cubed of salt. So we can work out, well, what concentration that salt needs to be to provide those moles. So that's done by moles over the original volume of the salt. So that was 200 cm cubed, 0.2 dm cubed. So the original salt concentration needs to be 0.0655 moles per decimeter cubed.